Hey guys, welcome to another episode. I'm out uh, doing a little bit of prospecting today with uh, special guest Willie. We've been looking around here uh, along a river system trying to find uh, old sites and this little uh, bottle is starting to stick up here. That's a nice little score. A stumpy sprite. So coming down the hill uh, here I was finding some old stuff kicking around. And we have special guest Willie in the pit. There's all kinds of little surface stuff kicking around in here. What has he got? False alarm. Ah. This thing's sitting here. Hopefully a banger. My my focus is like right drunken today. I don't know what's going on. Camera had probably a worse night than, than I did. This thing was just parked on surface, face up, and never ended up getting broke. J.R. Watkins. And we have the Dr. J.O. Lambert. I think it is. Ah, that's a casualty. So, we'll keep looking around here. Thought I see something over here. What's this thing here? Is it focused? I hope. This little thing. Very, uh, I got a real well rooted one here. Haha, <laughs> got the Menards Liniment. Another little, nice little emboss bottle. Sweet! Willie's got a cobalt off the hill. Nice. So the Menard has a plastic top. The uh, cobalt's got that nice darker blue. So already a couple cool scores off of here. This interesting piece, maybe it was a flying saucer. It's hard to say at this time. What's all the saucer technology nowadays? Now that, yeah, it's been released. Got another uh, embossed sprite here, and it's sitting face down, so. Boom. Another one, little stumpy sprites. Super, uh, super common, but. You never know. Be worth a couple of bucks. A couple uh, Javaxes were in here. And they'll be uh, they'll be staying here. Those guys. So might be a few more little doodads in here, but uh, me and special guest Willie are moving on to the next site. Hey guys, welcome to another episode. I'm out on an expedition today, and today we have to. Uh, get across a river we're trying to find an old trading post so we picked up this two-person inflatable boat I doubt uh, the two of us are gonna like uh, fit into this little thing here but we're gonna put it together and try to get across So we got the boat all set up and we're going to cut across the river here. Special guest Willie's tying up uh, a bunch of ropes together so that we can hopefully make it across and then way up that hill up there and uh, have enough rope for him to retrieve the boat and get across uh, himself. So we'll see how it goes. Let's see if this boat's going to make it across here. We've seen a snapping turtle about that big in here and I'm scared he's going to go at me there once I get out there, but we'll see what happens. Oh. 
getting out. has a safety line attached to it. We don't know if we're going to run out of rope or not. What do you think, Willie? You going to make it? Oh yeah, I got lots of rope. snapping turtles yet? I'm scared of that time. Still good for rope? Oh yeah, lots of rope. Unscathed from the snapper. Oh, there he is. No. <laughs> Bye everyone. <laughs> What's funny is uh, I don't think he tied his boat off over there. And I do believe it's quite windy out. That it might blow over and I might have to go retrieve it with this rope and paddle it back over there. Hello guys, this is a uh, Willy. Uh, I fell asleep on the beach here, and uh, geez, I, I must have fell asleep there for about a good three hours. It's getting to be afternoon now. Uh, I woke up. There's no raft anywhere. As you can see, it's gone. Uh, Jay steals his summer up there in the bush. He's obviously been gone for over three hours, and, and unless he came back, and I was sleeping. He came across with the raft and the turtle got him. I think it's happening folks. He may lose his boat. I would, uh, I, so, uh, a turtle came by and grabbed the boat, it's gone. What's that? A turtle came by and grabbed the boat, it's gone. I was gonna say, uh, I didn't even pull it up really, eh? No, it's, um, so I was waiting for it to float away. And it's just about to float away now. Yeah, there it is. Oh, you lost it, man. Oh, yeah. You, you might have been better off coming down where you were. Now the adventure begins. I wonder if you wheel her in and 
could just give her a good shove if it would make its way to me. Update. So guys, uh, this is gonna be funny. as I predicted there, I gotta go rescue Mr. J. Steels. Just, a, just as I predicted there, the boat got away. We'll see you on the other side. Some things are easier said than done. I get caught on the rope here with the oar. There we go. So we're river banking here. Got Willie's uh, making his way in here. So me and Willie were looking around in this zone there. And it kind of looks like it was cleared out in here, but there's like a layer of ash, so could have been a building maybe burnt down. We're not sure. So our time has kind of run out now. We have to get back across the river of doom here. So we'll see what happens next. Willie's making his way back in. Uh, extremely comfortable. The review uh, of the outbound so far um, is 10 out of 10, I think. Oh, okay, it's going good, it's going good. Willie's getting across at an alarming rate. He's really moving there. She got tangled a bit there. art of getting out of a little mini boat. Oh! Oh! Ah, oh, no, he got licked. Nobody really does. You're all right. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I hope uh, next time's not so intense. Trying to haul this guy across here. She's in. So we're back on shore. I'm gonna deflate this guy and wrap her back up. I'm uh, betting it's not going to go in the box easy, but we're going to try. So on today's uh, adventure, we found a couple of dumps from like the 30s and 40s on our way through here. And uh, Willie got the tip off on this place where there is basically this old trading post. And we're more or less on the grounds of where that trading post was. And like we don't figure with the bank in here, the river's moved any time the last little bit but this history of the uh, trading post is almost 1600 from the Hutton Bay Company so we're gonna continue uh, another day out here the um, foliage is just like literally uncrossable in areas here it's all full of those uh, creeping vines mixed with all kinds of tr trees and shrubbery so we're going to wrap up our boat, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little river adventure, and we'll see you next time. Say bye, Willie. Bye. <laughs> oh, Willie just ties that back up onto his backpack, and we're out of here. Pretty handy little setup. With that little hand pump and this boat, we're basically in the water in under 15 minutes, I think, roughly.